role of the BITS SRC. Um, so as I'm sure everyone must have heard by now, uh, BITS is proposing very drastic fee increases. Now, it's actually fourfold. We're talking tuition fee increases, we're talking residence fee increases, we're talking increases in the upfront fee payment at the beginning of the year, and we're also talking increases for international students. Now, just to give some indication here, everyone's aware probably of our one million one month campaign in which we had a funding crisis. Should WITS raise their fees to the amounts that they want, we are going to be closing the doors of higher ed learning and higher education to the working class generation. And unfortunately, and the truth of the matter is that the majority of those people are black. We are people of color who can't afford it. So essentially what we are doing is contributing to further class racism and further um, exclusion of the financial, uh, of the working class. And very importantly, I want everyone to know this, as the SRC, we have been negotiating, we have gone about the process. This, what is happening behind me, closing and shutting down the university, is our last step. It is a drastic action, because we have tried, but the university has not negotiated with us in good faith. They have not provided the, the various documents that they should have. They have said they haven't been able to justify the upfront fee payment. We have financial modeling to show that it doesn't have to increase to where it is. So we've got substantial concerns, a substantial document that we're going to hand in. It's not just us blowing hot air. So I want everyone to know that as well. Let's, let's use the example of a student who struggled to just get it. Let's say they managed to come up with a 10k somewhere. That student has no accommodation, has no money for food and groceries, no money for toiletries. That student probably sleeps in the library, maybe a bathroom. That is sad in extreme cases that we're dealing with. And we know that by increasing this, this upfront fee payment, most people in this country don't have that amount at the beginning of the year. And so really, it's the people seem to think it's only financial, but it's a full aspect of the students. And we find that these students who are in financial difficulty fail at the end of the year because they were not well supported enough, they didn't have food, they were studying on empty stomachs, uh, they were very distracted at getting funding. In fact, what it is, is it's total, total exclusion, not just financial, not just everyday. I can't stress how important it is. We are willing to be driven over by cars to prove our point. Because we are at that, at that space where we talk a lot about the dignity of the black child. We've spoken a lot about transformation. But unfortunately, transformation is not just changing the name of a building. This is transformation. Allowing access to higher education to the underprivileged of this country. So that's the angle we're coming